Oh, this is a nice shirt, Rob. <laughs> Yellow is just not my color. I'm Rob and this is on the cheap tip. Now it's been quite some time since we've done a skincare tip and being that that was kind of the basis and the point of my channel, I figured maybe it was time to come back because we've been kind of going on a tangent other places. So I'm bringing it back. So today I decided to show you how to make a natural Botox mask. You intrigued, right? Come to Dr. Rob. Really, I'm a doctor. <laughs> So let's get started. So the first ingredient that you're going to need is a banana. Now you will need a ripened banana, but I just bought these so they're a little green. I'd like my bananas to last through the week, so I usually buy them green. That is just going on a tangent that we don't even need to talk about. Now you're probably wondering how are bananas related to Botox? Well, actually bananas are known as nature's Botox, and it's because they do such wonderful things for anti-aging. They contain potassium, which locks in moisture to the skin, lots of vitamin C, which helps brighten the skin, and it's a very strong anti Antioxidant. I keep doing this. I don't know why. Stop doing that, Rob. They also contain lectin, which helps destroy any bad bacteria on the face, as well as amino acid, which helps to reduce the fine lines and wrinkles on your face. Hence, nature's Botox. You get it? So what you're going to do is cut a banana in half, put it into a bowl, and mash it up into a nice smooth paste. The next ingredient that you're going to get is an orange. Now, oranges have tons of vitamin C, well, duh, it's an orange, and if you don't live under a rock, you probably knew that. Well, vitamin C is really great antioxidant that's going to help brighten the skin, and it contains lots of natural fruit acids, which are going to help exfoliate any of the dead skin cells on your face to keep it nice and smooth and clear. So you're not breaking out with acne. You got a two in one. So what you're going to do is freshly squeeze your orange and take a teaspoon of it and add it to your mixture. The next ingredient that you're going to get is Yogurt. Now I got Greek yogurt because I heard that the enzymes were better in it. It's like more wholesome, like me. Why are you laughing? Are my horns showing? But if you don't have Greek yogurt, you could also use plain regular yogurt as well. Now yogurt is, oh sh oh it's falling out. Well that made a mess. Looks like my date last night left something behind. <laughs> oh, the adults will get that one. Yogurt contains lactic acid, which is going to help exfoliate all of the dead skin cells to smooth out the skin. It has lubricating fats in it that are going to help moisturize your skin. And it has lots of enzymes and good bacteria that's going to help get rid of the bad bacteria. So what you're going to do is take a teaspoon of yogurt and put it into your mixture. Once you're done adding all of your ingredients, you're going to mix it up very, very well. And then you're going to take a little bit at a time and rub it in nice circular motions onto your skin, steering clear of your eye area. Once you have it all on the face, you're going to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then you're going to rinse it off. You're used to gummy on my cell phone, so you got too creepy, then I blocked your ass. Yeah. So once you rinse, bleh, I should move the towel from my face before I start talking. So once you rinse off your mask, you're going to notice that your face feels so much more moisturized and nice and smooth and beautiful and you're ready to kill, not kill. You're gonna be ready to go out into the world and I don't do something. So that's my little tip and I hope that you liked it. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next Monday for another cheap tip and this Friday for more cheap laughs. Bye!